So it's safe to say that frustrations are at an all-time high right now. We're Tyler and Todd, and in 2020, we parked our RV in the middle of the Canadian forest to live out our dream of building an off-grid home for ourselves. Hundreds of projects and thousands of small steps later, our journey to build a simple life in the woods has led us to where we are today. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, which helps us get introduced to more like-minded people just like you. Come along. Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. So we took the last couple of weeks off so that we could have some time to recharge and get ready for the ambitious spring that we have coming up. <laughs> There's which... a lot of prep. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> he heard the camera. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna be continuing on with getting ready for those projects by tying up a bunch of loose ends we have at the dome today that we've been kind of ignoring for the last couple of months. Yeah, and by kind of ignoring, completely ignoring. But it's it's been a lot, there's been a lot happening. So <laughs> anyway, we're gonna head outside and get started on the first project for the day. So we just finished setting up the interior of the dome into our sort of workshop for the day. Actually, for the next couple of days. <laughs> and Lily is obsessed with this. It like makes like a crinkling noise. You love it? <laughs> it's pretty cute, so. We are just measuring for our cuts. So what we're doing is we're gonna trim out the exterior door of the dome, just to give it more of a finished um, look and to bring that cabin feel that we've created inside, outside. So I think it'll be pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. So what we're using is just some pine boards. We couldn't find any cedar that wasn't shimlam. <laughs> She's so funny. Um, so we're using pine that we found and we're gonna stain it to a color that we like and then put some protective coating on it so it's fine to go outside. Yeah, hopefully it will be able to dry overnight. We're just gonna get the fire bump in and it should yeah. be fine. Just breathe those fumes in. It's gonna be no, fun. we got water based. Oh. Yeah, so if anyone's worried about the fumes and stuff, we made sure to get the non VOC water-based That's not stain. what's getting us high tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna get started on this. Can I just do it, please? Should we show them? So this is the line, obviously. You missed it a little. <laughs> At least it's, like, I tend to go more on the side of caution <laughs> rather than ruining the board, which is why that happened. <laughs> At what point did you notice it, though? Um, when I started. <laughs> and you said I'm just gonna go with it? Yeah. I guess you could say we got nice wood. Stain time? Stain time. Do you think it's snack time again or is it just stain? It's all good. For every good thing we do, we get to have a snack. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. You like wow. it? Yeah. So we're just finishing up and as you can see, like the stain turned out such a rich color. It's exactly what we were planning. It's just gonna give it that nice warm feeling as soon as you walk in the front door. I'm like blown away with it. Yeah, so yeah. we're gonna let it chill for like an hour 
and it just needs to like all the stain needs to soak up into the wood and then we're gonna put a clear coat over top just so we can protect it from the outside so we don't have to stain it every single year um, but we're gonna make a coffee first and then just continue crossing things off the to-do list. But the most important one is that coffee because I think we're both kind of fading. <laughs> yeah. It's hard getting back into projects after being off. Yeah, it is. And not only that, but this took a lot longer than we thought it was going to take, so. But, oh, it's so nice. Love it. Okay, coffee time. Now and then it feels we're running on a satellite Running out of time to say the way I feel I feel like I can lose my mind but we are So our quick coffee break turned into more of a two hour stare out into the forest session but we do that a lot around here it Happens more frequently than we like to admit Yeah, especially like this kitchen table is also like our home office and we basically just do work here all day when we're not doing anything else and stare out into the forest. It's really, really nice, but yeah. also distracting. But now we're gonna get to work on finishing up the kitchen because we still need to install the kickboard on it, which is the next thing on the to-do list because we've now had our coffee. Yeah, <laughs> we're feeling energized and ready to take it on. So we still have a little bit left to go on the staining. Like it's still sort of tacky. So this is a nice project to continue on with while we wait. Yeah. So we just need to trim it down with a handsaw. I thought that that was kind of weird, but the instructions say to do it so we'll listen to them and then we can fill up that gap right there and the kitchen's gonna look great how long what 69 <laughs> is it really <laughs> <laughs> nice a beautiful kickboard Oh, uh-oh. We don't want to lock this in here. What is it? A cherry tomato. That wouldn't be good. Oh, thank you. Do you like your little tomato? <laughs> here, squirrel, take your tomato and go. How come she gets the tomato? <laughs> what are you doing? What is that? <laughs> I don't know why we ever decided to buy an Ikea kitchen. Because we were... Young, dumb, and in love. Oh, I hate Ikea. Like, I hate Ikea. I'm never doing it again. <coughs> never. Go squirrel. This is a lot with all the animals, too. So what are we missing? Like, clearly there's something it's off. Cut it's wrong. It's, so you cut at wrong? that end, it's four inches, no, it's, right? And then down here, it's three Do we really need a kickboard? So it's safe to say that frustrations are at an all-time high right now. Todd is currently cutting a hair off of this kickboard for the third time. Yeah. We've um, made the decision that we are done with IKEA products. We've done I We at least need a little break. I think it's best we see different people for yeah. us in IKEA. Yeah. And we'll, uh, if our paths cross again, they cross again. <laughs> we were planning on doing an IKEA kitchen for the cabin build, but we've completely changed our mind now and we would much rather do like, like from hand like wood cabinets i think that would be really cool and plus like if it were wood and not this like plastic stuff right now this project would be way faster yeah. so <sighs> back to work i go i don't pity him but there's only one saw so i'm just gonna hang out with eddie Ready? Oh, that one in. It's in all the way. Oh. I still hate IKEA. <laughs> Sometimes these little days are really good. Yeah, I like these days. It's like quick wins and it feels good. So what we're gonna do after Todd finishes that up is- It's done. Good job. We are gonna make the uh, perimeter trim around the wood stove. So we didn't get to doing this after we finished installing the tile and the flooring. It was just like, it felt like such a daunting task and we just wanted to move on and continue to get the rest of the dome built. So. Kind of like the kickboard, we just wanted to move on and keep going. Yeah, we're not good at the fine finishing details. So we did get some transition strips right there. So we're gonna um, get to work on installing those and finishing this space off, so. 
These two are ridiculous. <laughs> It's okay, buddy. <laughs> Might have to move them back a bit for the couch. I'm also gonna, we're losing the daylight. We really took a, like, I don't think people realize how long that coffee break was. <laughs> we lost a lot of daytime. It was a long time. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Do you want to start it now? Or another break? We'll start it now. Let's start it now, because that way if we get frustrated, we have room for a break. There you go. Now and then, if it's, we're running on a Saturday. We f***ed up our measurements. How? This is the piece off for the bath. We don't have any pieces left? No, remember we said we only needed three? Really? Oh. Is that real? For real? We used three pieces? Yes. You know what they say, measure four times, go to the store six. So a little while later, we've got the bed set up. Hey buddy. <laughs> and Todd is doing a second coat on the boards. Yeah, they're drying really nicely now that we've got the curtains closed and the insulated things in the windows. It's really warm in here. Yeah, it's toasty, so. so. Yeah. We're just gonna finish this up, and I think we're gonna call it a night. Yeah. I'm well, kinda tired. And we gotta go into the city early tomorrow because it's supposed to get like another 10 centimeters of snow tomorrow morning. I can't so, believe that. I know. I can't <laughs> believe I bought an inflatable um, flamingo for the pond because I thought it would be thawed by the time we got back. <laughs> now that I can believe. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're gonna finish this up and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Todd ended up getting up bright and early this morning to head into the city. And he picked up that missing transition strip. Well, I knew you were getting up early. Well, I did. I actually got up, so I figured Todd was going to say something like that. But I ended up getting up the same time as him, and I've cleaned the dome. Although he is doing dishes right now. Don't mind him. He's just always doing something. I did really clean. You did a really good job. It looks really good in here. Thank you. I did vacuuming and put the bed away and got everything all nice. But... Look at these. I absolutely love how they turned out. Are you happy? They're so nice. I can't wait to get them up. Although like, yeah. it's snowing today, so we're gonna have to wear toques while we do it. <sighs> yeah, this weather, you guys, it's really, it's doing a number on us. But yeah, those, um, that color, it's called Providence, I think, or Provincial, something like that. I think we wanna do beams in the house. I'm um, in the cabin that we're building. I think that'd be really cool. It's but anyway. such a nice warm color. It really is. Also, Todd's such a sweetheart. He picked us up extra large coffee, so don't even have to make coffee this morning. However, we are making a really intentional effort to not start our day with coffee, and we're trying to start it more healthy with the greens, which brings us to the sponsor of today's video, Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens is the ultimate all-in-one nutritional formula jam-packed with 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients, and is one of the most nutritionally complete products on the market. With just one easy scoop each morning, we're able to kickstart our day and keep our energy levels up throughout, as well as protect our body with the pre and probiotic we're able to get everything that we need all in one place without taking multiple products and supplements. Implementing Athletic Greens into our daily life has been such a game changer for us. We've been taking the product every day for almost two years. We've really noticed a huge difference in not only our immune system, but our daily energy and our ability to take on more and more tasks. But the best part is Athletic Greens doesn't have that chalky, bitter taste that you might be used to in a greens. It's just subtly sweet and it's just the best product that we've tried. Make sure you use the link in the description box down below. By doing so, you'll get five free travel packs as well as the one year supply of the vitamin D droppers, which is essential for this time of year. Obviously, it's still a winter wonderland out there. So let's get to this project though. I know. <laughs> Before it gets too snowy. Yeah, we need to get our hats and mitts on and get dressed and 
Yeah, do this. You ready? Yeah. It's gonna look good. I'm excited. Let's, Let's go. go. So I'm gonna keep you guys underneath the gazebo. It started to snow, so we um, are gonna keep you under there so you stay nice and dry. But we're using this for the first time, which I'm really excited about. We bought a leaf blower a while ago. It's a battery operated one. We got it after the leaves were gone because it was on clearance. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not waiting until the fall. We read that you can use it for snow removal and we need to get rid of all the snow that's fallen. So I'm gonna use it. That looks fun. <laughs> that is fun, I like this. Oh, I tell you what, when we started this project, I remember having fingertips, but can't really feel them now. We need to draw a chalk line on the boards so we can know where to drill into the door frame. Um, but now the boards are wet because obviously it's snowing a lot out. So we need to go dry off the boards. Do you see the... Take two, <laughs> well you can't see my fingers, but take two on doing this. Man, we really f f up, don't we? Yeah, we also thought we had enough transition strips. <laughs> so we're really not having much luck with the projects this week. Um, the self-tapping metal screws that we bought are only one inch thick and our board is, I guess, one inch thick. So they're not going- up there. We messed, yeah. We're just messing up kind of everywhere. Um, so we're gonna go check the shed on the other side of the property and see if maybe we have longer screws there. I don't think we do. This trail leads to the house site. So if you remember, this is where we've put in the foundation for the cabin that we're building. And yeah, it's really, really close. You walk very interestingly, love. Why? You do a little twirl with your feet as you like, start stepping out. What can I say? <laughs> See? Oh, while we were gone, look at this. This tree fell. Perfectly missed the foundation. That was luck. Yeah, so we definitely need to do some forest management before the cabin actually goes in, but it's pretty cool to see the helical piles and where it's actually gonna be. It's a lot of work between now and then, but we're hoping like April, May, we'll be starting that project, so. It's exciting. Use our mess. <laughs> there might be some over in the workshop where I dumped all the stuff when we were done working on the dome. Because I used self tappers, but they might only be half inch. Which would be even worse. I swear we try. I, I really do. We try so hard, which only makes days like this even more frustrating. But this is the reality. <laughs> you can do. Okay, we're gonna go figure out this screw situation and we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. This is attempt number five, I think. I said attempt number five. Oh, something. So good though. Yeah, like so good. Pretty nice. So we finished the outside project just in time because the snow is really starting to come down out there. So Tyler just gave this a quick sweep because it's shocking how dirty this area gets with the Infinite. wood stove. Yeah. So we're gonna push through and finish the flooring because we have all the parts now. I think so. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna quickly do this. We've only got the one to do in the back and then we're able to glue it all in, which is nice. Yeah. So obviously we did a bunch of 45 degree angles. I don't think we explained yesterday about this. This is a super cool little um, thing that when you put your pieces of wood in, you can cut any angle you want. So rather than having to like measure if you have a 45 or a 90 or whatever your cut is, this does it for you. 
Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. sweet. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna, we only have to cut that last back piece and then we're gonna glue everything down. Okay, let's get to it. Let's do it. Keep Just like that, another project checked off the old to-do list. Just like that. <laughs> this one was supposed to be easy, but it gave us so much grief. This was Every what? Step like of the way. Two, three hours of our day? Yeah. Not, no joke, maybe even more. I know, it was supposed to be like an hour, but. It looks really good, so yeah. we just finished taping down all of the corners there. Just to hold it in place, we're gonna leave that for a few days. Yeah. But I think it looks good. It and finishes it off really nicely, I think. It really does. like. Less of a dust hole, too. Yeah. So, what I'm now? happy. Nap on the couch with the boys? Oh, I'm down for a nap on the couch. <laughs> oh, did you see his tail like? Oh. You want snuggles? <laughs> oh. Well, I guess you can go shovel, and I'm gonna stay here with my little buddy. Here. Oh, yeah. I do need to shovel. Look, actually, I'm not gonna shovel. I'm gonna leaf blow, but look how pretty. Unbelievable. This is so much more snow than we were supposed to be getting today. But what I've discovered is with the leaf blower, if I come out like maybe every two hours or so and blow it, it doesn't accumulate and then become really heavy. So right now it's just fluffy. I'm just sticking you in a snowbank. Watch how easy this is. Perfect.